Hi everyone, this is Marianne and welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I am going to unbox and give you my first impressions of this wireless numeric keypad that I purchased online through Shopee. I will leave a link in the description box. But first, let me show you these tiny doodads that I threw in with my order because these are super, super cheap. These are just the USB-A to USB-C adapters because the MacBooks now have only USB-C ports, but so many peripherals still have USB-A. Now I do have a hub already, but these are super cheap. I thought they might come in handy. I purchased two. The silver is for me and the black is for my son. But my main purchase is really this Bluetooth numeric um, keyboard or keypad or numpad for short. This is the box with some of the features of the numpad already printed on the front. And this is the model number the Pro, which I have, can also function as a USB hub, which I will show you later. And I got it in gray. I preferred the silver because I have the silver MacBook Pro, but the silver version has been out of stock for months. I'm fine with the gray anyway. USB-A to USB c cable is included in the box and this will be used for charging the numpad this is the back of the numpad it is very glossy and it also has some specifications printed on here and this is the front of the numpad the actual keys it is very straightforward as you can see and at the back over here it has two usb a ports a USB-C port for charging the numpad and for use when the numpad is being uh, utilized as a hub and a tiny button for pairing and the toggle switch. The box also contained a user guide which is also straightforward. Everyone knows how to use these devices by now. I'm going to try the numpad with my 13-inch MacBook Pro M2 laptop. I have an unboxing of this on my channel, which I will link down below. Pairing the numpad with a laptop is quite easy. Just turn on the numpad using the toggle switch, press the tiny pair button beside it, and a blue light comes on, a tiny blue light which I hope you can see, and then the laptop can already detect the numpad, and then you can finish off the pairing as per usual. Now I'm going to launch pages and I'm going to make the font size really large so you can easily see me typing up the numbers using the numpad. And as you can see, everything works just fine. Like the, the number keys work just fine. Now I want to try to use this numpad as a USB hub, which is an added feature of the pro version like I mentioned. The key to using the numpad as a hub is that it must be plugged in and because the cable provided is USB-A, I need to use my super reliable Sanho Hyperdrive, which I unboxed on my channel many years ago, and the video will be linked down below. And this is also how to charge the numpad. Just plug it in and it will charge. To try it out as a hub, I am going to attach this external keyboard to the numpad. This is just a basic wired full-sized keyboard. This is mine and I used it for maybe a year when I was still on my old 15-inch MacBook Pro. Now take note, the keyboard is connected to the numpad as a hub and the numpad is connected to another hub that is connected to the laptop. And when I tried that, it doesn't work. But I needed to use the Sanho as a hub because that's the only way I can connect a USB-A cable to the USB-C port of the MacBook Pro. However, when I used my laptop's USB-C to USB-C cable so that I won't have to use the Sanho hub, meaning just the numpad is connected to the laptop and the keyboard is plugged into the numpad, it totally works. The laptop detected the keyboard right away and requested some steps to be done first. And after that step, I can use the external keyboard like normal. So that is how to make the numpad work as a hub. You need to plug it into the laptop directly 
using a USB-C to USB-C cable when it comes to the MacBook Pro. However, if your computer has a USB-A port, you can use the cable that came with the numpad. Um, it doesn't even have to be an Apple branded one. What's important is that it's not daisy chained to another hub. Okay, now let's try if an adapter will work. I will once more use the USB-A to USB-C cable that came with an numpad, plug it into the tiny adapter that we just unboxed, and then plug the adapter into the laptop, and then plug in the external keyboard into the numpad. It is not two hubs daisy chained together, right? There's just the one hub, which is the numpad. However, when it's set up this way with the adapter, the external keyboard does not work. Well, all right, now I know how to make the numpad work as a hub in a pinch. It's nice to have in case I don't have my other hubs and dongles with me. My laptop has only two USB-C ports. That's all the ports that it has. So having an additional hub or dongle is always a good thing to have meaning in addition to the hubs and dongles that I already have. This numpad is just a little picky with cables, and that's okay. I know what cable to use now. The version of this numpad that does not have the USB-C hub function is only cheaper by a super small amount, a super small amount, so I opted for this one. I plan to place this numpad to the left of my laptop because I heard that it's better for productivity. There's even a keyboard with a numpad on the left, and that keyboard is originally made for left-handed people, the Keychron K12, but actually anyone can use it. And they say that it's better for productivity. Betty of uh, the YouTube channel switch and click has an unboxing of the Keychron K12 keyboard and I will link it down below. It just takes a bit of time getting used to a numpad on the left but I want to try that out. I can already tell that the build quality of the numpad is not so good. It's actually not so good. It is sturdy because the body is made of metal but the keys are not very cleanly made as you can see. The printing of the legends is not very clean. I can see some smearing on the edges of the legends. I hope you can see that as well. And of course, this numpad does not have a backlight. But it is of a decent quality. It looks presentable. And the movement of the keys is okay. It is not as polished as the Apple keyboard, of course. But it's alright. It does not look horrible. There's nothing wrong with it. Okay, now let's try out these other buttons. The function search buttons brings up the search button on the computer. The function and media keys together work as promised, therefore the volume. But the play button alone brings up Apple Music, which makes sense. All of the keys on this numpad do work except for this key right here which I think is only for Windows because it has a tiny Windows logo and this weird delete button at the top right corner. Those are the only two buttons that don't work but all the rest of the keys work just fine. I use numbers a lot on a daily basis when I'm working on my computer but my old external keyboard was just too big for my new desk setup and it is wired and I have limited ports available to me now. So for a while I even seriously considered buying an actual external mechanical Bluetooth keyboard. <laughs> just to have a numpad, I was eyeing the Keychron K4 which is a 96% layout. It has 96% of the keys of the full size traditional keyboard but squished together so the footprint is smaller. But then I realized that if I get into the mechanical keyboard world it's going to be an entirely new rabbit hole of switches and keycaps that I just did not want to get into so I just looked for a numpad which is actually all I really need as extra. The keyboard on my laptop works perfectly fine and it is quiet. It is quiet. So for now, I can say that I am happy with this numpad. 
it doesn't use any of my ports except when I need to charge it maybe once every few days or so and I can place it on my left so that I can practice for that new productivity thing that Betty mentioned. And that's my little video for you today. Thanks for watching. Bye.